Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to do is, I am going to implement a counter attack system. Like in many other games, when I press the block button, just before the enemy launch the attack, I will have ability to do a counter attack. So if, so if I keep the block button pressed, uh, even before the attacking is started started from the enemy it will be just a normal block so I'll do the demonstration here so now I'll look into this enemy and I'll press the block button right before this guy is attack about to attack like this okay and now I'll keep the block button pressed so now in this case there are no counter attacks so yeah that's what I am going to do today okay and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me alright so to enable counter attacks first I should uh, identify where what is the time frame that the character is should press the right click or the block button in order to counter right so let's open the character main character class and the block button is uh, on here block action is here and uh, yeah so this is where my countering count uh, this is where I should determine the counter time frame or time interval because uh, when I press if I am already press and holding the block then it should not trigger any counter attacks but if I press the block button just before launching the attack then I should be able to do a counter attack just like in the implementations of other games okay so here instead of I'll define a new variable and a fight called can count and I'll set can count uh, true here and I'll reduce this to point well where should I implement it not here yeah this is not the place I should implement that I should because this is a loop so I should implement that right here can count uh, to true and I'll add a sequence here because uh, this should not interfere with this section and here I'll add a delay of for now I, I'll leave it as 0.5 second I can change this later and set can counter to false right now when I check the attack which is here this is the method I check if I am getting hit or not and here if I am blocking so this line represents what should happen when I am blocking 
so here we have a sword hit sound and sparkles okay and here I can do the counter attack montage for the moment let's just use the kick here actually I don't have a custom method to access the kick in I only have this input action so let's implement a method for that I'll name it instead of kick in counter let's for the moment I'll leave it as counter and I'll use the same thing as kick in okay and here event counter and like this okay now under check it I'll play the counter well I should play this counter only if I am able to counter that means can counter is true if this is false it's like this and actually this is not the place I should do the countering I'm sorry so this is where I check hit of the other character yes I can do it like this I can trigger the enemy's counter here like this counter so when when the other player hit me it will go in this path and he um, in my characters counter method or counter event will be fired and here I should play the counter only if I can counter so I should do a branch here and can counter okay so let's check if that works so first I will keep the blocked action pressed like this so in that case my player wouldn't do any blocking now I'll block uh, once the other character start to attack well I am too late okay right just like that once I press the block button when he's just before attacking then the countering works like this alright I think that will do for this video and well I do want to implement some things like uh, some notations or some like 
like uh, stuff that player can see so that this is where I should press the block button in order to be able to counter like in Arkham Knight games we have some kind of yellow markers on top of the enemy head or blue markers just like them I will do something like that add to my system in the future all right if you would like to support my work as always you can join my patreon club and there you will have privileges to ask questions and access source code and many things okay see you in the next episode goodbye